Eric here from Squat Wedgies. Today, I'm going to show you how to put together your solo versatility bar. Starting out, let's go over what you should have received in your box. Should have gotten four of these rubber rings. They look just like this. Three weightlifting collars, three loading bars, your solo versatility bar. The weight plates are not included, but you can use any two inch base weight plate. So that means a two inch diameter of this hole right here. Starting out, you're going to take your rubber ring and place it on the loading bar that has the screw just like this. You're going to place it on the inside. Now you don't have to do this, but we gave you these rubber rings because it's going to help as a bumper. So it makes it a little bit easy to strap in your foot. So you put it there like that, find the other one with that screw, place two again. And if you want more space for your hand to strap in, for you to strap in your foot, just slide them down a little bit more and I'll make more sense when I'm screwing it onto that. So we got that done there. And now we're simply going to take the loading bar and screw it into the place here. Now the cool thing about the solo versus tip bar is you don't have to use all the loading bars, but I just want to show you what it kind of looks like when you have all of them attached at once, just like that. And then we're going to take the other one here, screw it in just because when all three are attached, it does make it a little bit easier to strap in. And then from there, we're going to take our front one now. And this doesn't have a screw because the screw is here and that helps you identify where the rubber rings go. We screw that in just like that. Now each bar weighs around like a pound and a half. So when you're doing these exercises, you don't necessarily need to have any weight plates on it or use your clips. So for right now, I'm not going to use any weight plates. I'm just going to show you how to strap in your foot when it comes to just using the bar as is just like this. I've adjusted the heel strap. I want that heel strap to match up with my heel. Nice and comfortable. My whole foot can fit in. If you have a much larger foot, you might need to adjust the heel strap more. Basically, we don't want your foot to be all the way like this. There's a lot of slack on that heel strap. So if you need to, just adjust the heel strap back here. You can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. I can move around the heel strap here just by pulling on this. So just pull on that lightly. You don't want to pull too hard because we don't want to pull this out. Just pull on it a little bit to move it, just like so. Just like that, we'll move into place. And then from there, I can go here, line it up. And like I said, I can move my foot all the way back if I need to, place it through the loop, and then pull on it and make sure it's nice and taut around my heel. And then from there, pull this off, loop it through, and then strap my foot in. You do want to wear shoes for this just to get a nice snug fit. You can do it barefoot, but it won't be as snug. So from there, I have my foot in place, and now I can do my hip flexor exercise just like that or work any other exercise and that'll be another video where we go over all the different exercises you can use with your solo versa tip bar next let's teach you how to kind of add some weight plates to it so i'm going to take my foot out i do recommend taking your foot out first if i'm working the weight plates on the side i'll simply put one here just like that and then i'm going to take my weight collar you have to press the button in first i press the button it opens up, I drop it on just like that, and then I want to make sure I hear that click. Once I hear that click, I'm good to go, and now I can go to the other side. If you really wanted to, you could put the weight in front as well, but that's just going to make it a little uneven to so get a little different uh, loading there. For beginners, I recommend starting out just like this. And now this is what I was talking about when it comes to having those bumpers there, because when you have these weight plates, it will get in the way a little bit of locking your foot in, so having those collars kind of gives you more space to be able to put the strap through and then pull it nice and tight and place it in there so that foot doesn't come out. Once we're locked in place, we then can perform that hip flexor exercise like so. Now, if we want to put the weight in the front, simply unstrap just like that. Undo the collar, pull it out. Take this off. Now you have two options here. You can you leave the loading bars on, or you can take them off for our sake. I'll take them off just to kind of show you what that looks like. Simply just unscrew them, just like that. Unscrew the other side. Place your weight plate on. We'll stay for five pounds now. Make sure you take the clamp. Hear the click, beautiful. Just like that, set the foot in. 
Same thing as before, line up the heel with the strap. Make sure everything's nice and taut. Strap in the foot. There you go. And then you're ready to go as is. You can do any exercise you want with it. You got hip flexor raises, tib raises, hamstring curls, tons of different movements. And I'm going to cover that in another video because there are so many different movements you can perform. And there you have it. It's that simple. When you guys do receive a product, make sure you have everything. Again, the three loading bars, the three weight collars, the four rubber rings, and of course, the solo tip bar itself. If you don't have one of these pieces to your equipment, shoot me an email, eric at squatwedgies.com, and I'll get it fixed for you.